Hey, that's me back out again. Um, I was planning on going up the mountains today for a solo camp. It started thunder and lightning, and uh, my knee, it's giving us a lot of jip. I've had to put a brace on it, so it wasn't worth it. I'm just going to give it a couple of weeks, make sure it's settled. But today I'm just uh, exploring a place called Rough Island, and um, see if it'll be good for a potential camp over there. Um, the tide comes in, blocks it off. So I think it'll be interesting like that. So let's go and check it out. So the reason I came over here was just to see if it would be a good camping uh, spot. Just I think when the once the water comes in here, uh, just that sort of feeling, you know, you're stuck on it until the next day. Get the fishing rods out. Don't know how busy it would get on the night time, you know. Don't know if you get a lot of kids around here or stuff like that. But I think it'd be worth a try. Definitely worth a look if anything. Uh, not much potential for camps, a lot of it's up, overgrown, uh, but it's a nice little spot. I've seen this just on the way off the island here, 
you can maybe just get a little one man tent just on here uh, when the water comes in I don't think you'd be disturbed that much maybe just cast a little fishing rod out and just chill out yeah so this is rough island uh, just past Newton Newton Odds uh, you can see Scrabble Tower in the, in the distance you'll probably not be able to see it on the, the GoPro but I'll try and put some drone footage on it's a bit windy so that's it just a short one just to see if there was a potential for a camp over at this this little island not too sure if there is or not to tell you the truth it's very overgrown um, quite a lot of public come around this area I might go and check out Scrabble Tower after this because I've never been up there as well so obviously being from Newcastle and living in Northern Ireland there's so much to explore for us definitely enjoying it so cheers for watching